What's up guys? Ice Man here. So in this video, I'm going to slam a griffin's eye. I traded a shako for it, a unique shako at that. It was green. I found it from Shank. It's absolute toad. I didn't slam it. And I went on the trade website and there was a guy who was offering griffin's eye, right? This one in particular, he just said offer as to what he was asking for. So I message him, I say, hey, will you take Shaco and Amarun for it, a clean Shaco? And he was like, okay, make game. And he joins my game and he's like, are you the guy on YouTube? And I said, yeah. And I was just waiting for it, right? Like what could come next? What possibly could come next after that? But normally it's a good thing. I ain't gonna lie to you guys almost every fucking time. A lot of you toads out there supporting the Iceman, so thank you. There was only one time where a guy said, okay, I'm not going to trade with you because you're the YouTube guy. I was like, okay, why not? And then he said, ah, I'm just kidding. I'll trade with you. Then he traded with me. That was really the only negative experience. So if any one of you <clears throat> pristine toads want to give me a negative experience, go ahead. Get on the website and we could uh, we could have one tallied up. I'm just saying in general, it ain't what happened, dog. You know, in general... Uh, I, but I hope that he didn't give me a deal because I'm the Iceman. So I don't know if that's the case. I, I asked him straight up. After the trade, I said, All right, so did you give me a good deal on this because I'm the guy on YouTube? Or did you think that was just a pretty fair trade? And he said, To be honest, I thought that was a pretty fair trade because I needed Shaco anyway. So I was like, Okay, absolute toad. You know, a clean griffin for a clean Shaco and an Umru. No, it's absolute fucking toad. So, yeah, thank you, sir, for trading. But I do know Shaco has a high value right now. People are giving a Vex or an Ohm for a clean Shaco, and that's like low offers. It's been going for more than that because it's so early in the ladder. <clears throat> sir, I'm going to slam this on beach, and hopefully I'll get a decent roll. Now, check this out. Let's go down here for a second to Frigid Highlands. All right, so, ooh, it's going to be one to all skills, so I'm actually going to gain some damage. Here's what's happening. I'm trading it off with a Cure's Guardian, and I have two IS jewels in the Cure's, and those are essential for me to hit a certain attack speed breakpoint. But I could put an IS jewel in the Storm Shield to make up for it, or two, or three, or four. The problem is my res are going to suck when I uh, lose Cure's. They're going to go way down, so I'm going to be fucked. I'm going to have to make up for it by putting Umruns rather in the Storm Shield, or... You know, uh, gems, perfect gems, or perfect diamonds, most likely. You know, things like that. I might just uh, strive to top off my fire and lightning res. And just uh, put a raven frost on eventually, which reminds me, I'm not going to have cannot be frozen. So I'm going to need a raven frost. Straight after this video, I'm going to go trade for one. I don't even know what they go for right now. I don't give a shit uh, the stats on it. But check it out. My res go way down. You see that? They're just fucked. So that's, I'm gonna have to, you know, improvise. And the problem is I don't wanna switch this armor out because I like the MF, but beyond that, more importantly, I wanna be familiar with wearing an armor that has no resists. Because end game, I'm gonna wear Enigma is my intention. I intend to hopefully get the currency to make an Enigma eventually, right? So that's what I'm looking to do, man. So I, I don't want to uh, get familiar with wearing a GG res armor. Let's see what the damage is though now. So Lightning Fear is 2343. Poison Javelin is 17k. Damn, look at that. Goes from 2343 to 1796. But more importantly, what I like about Griffins is how it pierces the enemy light res. And it ranges from negative 15 to negative 20. So it's right in the middle, it's at negative 17. So, it's good enough. And actually, the plus is almost, it's one from perfect. So this is, this is a mid-range, uh, a slightly higher, I would say, than mid-range Griffins. But yeah, because I decided I wanted to start uh, wearing T-Stroke, or uh, Titans over T-Stroke. Alright, so that's what I have going on now. Anyway, let's go to Act 1 and let's slam this hog. I would hate to lose a clean Chaco 
and a very nice Amrun. That was a very nice Amrun. I don't know what to do with the serpent skin yet. If I should uh, up it and slam it or just trade it unidentified, I don't know. So here we go. I'd hate for this, this thing to go bye-bye. But yeah, what I'm going to have to do, if it's decent, if it gets no socks, I'm going to have to put a socket in it. I'm going to have to, you know, I'll work around to try to get the 52 IS breakpoint is what I'm kind of striving for. And as you can see with it on currently, she doesn't hit it. When I need our IS corrupted titans, then up them. And I, then I'll only need one IES jewel in my gear, and that would be absolute toad. Come on, baby. Don't let me down now. Shit! Damn! Didn't do shit. Damn! I've been lucky as a toad lately, as some of you know. I uh, slammed this 40 Storm Shield. I mean, it could be worse. To be honest with you, it's probably not far, out, far off from what I already traded for it anyway. What I gave was probably worth a corrupt one. You know what I mean? It's probably kind of even trade now, but yeah, that sucks because I uh, was really looking forward to uh, screwing around with a two socketed or three socketed Griffins. And uh, what's worse now is I don't have a Larza quest available. So I'm going to have to... Um, I'm going to have to level a character or uh, get on to Act 5 to Larza that Griffins. So I'm kind of shit out of luck right now. So yeah, but now I can use t uh, Titans and they'll still pierce the enemy res like how T-Strokes were doing. In fact... She's going to be even more godly if, say, I pop on T-Strokes. See, check this out. Those only have eight in their quantities, so let's uh, prepare them. But I'll show you her gear real quick. Right now, it's T-Strokes. Oh, dumbass! Griffins, Fidelas. Or I could get 30 IS on the gloves, but that's asking a lot. To start slamming 20 IS slash 2 job skill gloves. What would be ultimate godly gloves would be the crafted three mana per kill gloves. They range from one to three mana per kill. Say you get three mana per kill on them. Oh, they, it just brutalized those, uh, the non light me right there. You get three mana per kill on those gloves, which is a chance in itself. And then you slam it, or uh, in the craft, it gets... 20 IS and 2 Java skills, and then you slam the damn things and hope for an additional 10 IS. Those would be, in fat asses, humble opinion, the most godly as fuck Java's on gloves one could imagine uh, that are in the realm of possibility. So, those would be told. And of course, they could roll a little something else. Say they have some mana leech, which is just kind of nice to have. You're not leeching much, but at least you do some. Or, perhaps more importantly, something like Poison Res. Because you know, Poison Res is important, man. And I hate chugging them damn pots. Those antidote pots don't last long at all. Yeah, her, her Plague Javelin's okay now. It, it works good on some enemies, the Plague Javelin. On others, not so much. It all depends on their HP and their resistances. Like in the Ice Caverns, the one of the new maps, it actually does a good job against the uh, the enemies who are light immune. And that's why I respect from Emulation Arrow to this. It's more defensive, because you can always wear your shield. But yeah, and against these as well, the Stormcasters here, it's very effective. See that? Look at how fast it wastes them. And that's, my synergy isn't even maxed. Look at that. I could still put a lot of points into it. So, oh damn, I'm wasted. That's right, my res suck right now. So I'm going to have to make up for that. I, I could just fill that storm shield, but like I said, I don't want to do that until I hit uh, the IES breakpoint that I'm striving for. So now I'm going to have to go and sock it. Um, well, I'm, I'm going to have to go and sock it this damn Griffin's eye. 
Tis, uh, Titan's Revenge with the IS mod. Those can go for a lot, but I, I'm gonna try to trade for some actually. This is fucking Toad. All I I need uh, Enigma, and then just start uh, working toward. Or I need Infinity. I mean, and then I can start working for toward Enigma. Enigma sounds fun as a toad, because I haven't had one in a long time. It just sounds like a good time to be able to teleport around. And to have some quality of life features. Just the faster run walk sounds like a damn good time. Because she's already running pretty fast. And in addition to that, you have some nice MF. Which I normally don't build my characters around at all, but... It just sounds like a good time to have some decent MF for once, because I, I usually uh, don't have much MF at all. This character has a lot. Check it out. 214. A lot for what Iceman is used to, uh, especially when it comes to running an Amazon. But yeah, if you dogs will, like this video, hit the thumbs up button. It's too damn bad. Uh, that was such a, a low roll. But it could have been worse. You know, I ain't gonna lie. Shit could have been worse. Possibly would have uh, punched myself in the balls if that thing went bye-bye. I'd put it on video. In this very video, I'd punch myself, you know. But it, it, fortunately that didn't happen because I... I really didn't want it to go bye-bye. So at least, at least there's that. Well, yeah, when you're the Javazon, it's important to be able to pierce the enemy light res because you'll just start killing shit like Cray Cray once you do that. And this has a decent one. You know, it's negative 17, so it's it's better than using uh, T-strokes in that regard. Of course, that coupled with T-strokes would be absolute toad, but Titans just has some nice features. You, know, you do a little bit more physical damage against the light immunes, which I do like to hurl javelins at them like a bat out of hell even though it's not all that effective. And in addition to that, you get the run walk. You can build your character on him if you want. My character's not built around him, because I can wear T-strokes and still have Storm Shield on. I'm not reliant on the strength that uh, Titan's Revenge offers, but it is a good way to go, probably end game, you know? Once you get the infinity and stuff like that, and a nice Griffins, you, uh, you build your character around the Titan's Revenge if you want to where uh, you're kind of reliant on the decks that they offer to get max block and the strength to wear your gear. Then you can just, you know, you can min and max your uh, your vitality stat and your other stats. I usually don't go that far because I like my character to be more versatile to where I can pop on T-strokes if I want. Say there's a bunch of us uh, in game or running some hard map and I just want to do a little bit more damage, you know, or a lot more damage. Then I like to have the option to pop on T-strokes and not have my uh, my gear just, uh, you know, all turn red and shit and be unusable. So that's kind of how I like to build my character. So now I even have some stat points left over. You see that 25 fucking stat points. That hopefully I'll uh, I'll utilize sometime, not too far from now. But there you have it, dogs. Dude, exploding arrow. Okay. You get style points if you use this. This is a collector's item. So, Blast Bark. That's a fucking collector's item. Level 28 requirement. Just these items never come when you need them to, you know what I mean? Like, how tall would that be to find this thing when you're level 28 or something? But that just never fucking happens. But yeah, it's a good one to mule to a character. I mean, what am I talking about? This bow is shit. Uh, but it's a collector's item. Good old blast spark. You could slam it. You could slam it and perhaps make it toad. So boss killing is kind of a pain with this character. I switch over to uh, lightning bolt. See, now it's at lightning bolt. And it does decent damage. 67 aim. But yeah, it's very slow. Especially right now, because I'm not even at the correct IS breakpoint. I gotta put some jewels in the gear. Yeah, it's quite slow. Oh shit, another collector's item. Look at this hog. This would be fun to screw around with. You slam this hog. Uh, can they get... I don't think... No, they can't get six sockets, can they? 
if it were a thunder mall but you'd probably have to be a dumbass to up this to a thunder mall but still it'd be fun that's a collector's item for sure man so let me know what collector's items you guys have found all right maybe i'll keep this shit this this shit is absolute toad could uh up it up it to a thunder mall man i think it requires a pole room slam that that hog get six sockets in that hog absolute toad it even caught uh cast amplified damage uh it even has charges to you of course it does it on hit which is one of its uh primary features good old gravel of pain so i'll talk y'all soon thank you for supporting me as you have here's all the patrons that i have on youtube see appreciate y'all for uh supporting the fat ass ice man so if y'all want to become a patron click the link in the description below peace be with you